Hey, it's Marco here and I'm at On William Street, a great pattern designing company that I wanted to bring you a little information about. So let's get started with the designers. Hello. And who are you? So I am Kimmy and this is Missy and we are sisters. Oh, um, cool. We are two of six girls. So yeah. we have a lot of fun. We've been quilting together for a long time. Yeah, great. And yeah. we've been doing On William Street for about nine, nine years. years. Oh, nice. Well, we started quilting about 20 years ago is when we all decided to get into <laughs> quilting. And, yep. And fell in love with this wonderful hobby, craft, art, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So listen, I found some cool stuff in your booth. And I wanted to show this one quilt that I think is just really, really fun. That's something like I've never seen. And it's called your I Spy Quilt. Yes. So this actually, we're going to tell you. So we were making magnets for our guild swap, little tiny mini magnets. And I'm like, how fun would it be to make a quilt of two inch squares? And then luckily logic hit and we said okay let's maybe not two inch but we love the idea just fun little squares that are easy to pull out of scraps of everything you could possibly think about or want and so a scrap buster spices. it is totally oh, this yes. all came from our scrap bin yeah oh wow and, and there's little pieces so don't go out and buy a whole bunch of fabric pull out all those leftover ones you've already got okay it's so cool so how did you come up with all these different ideas we we send out basically just like to the family and friends and said, okay, so we need a list. We're gonna do an ice spy quilt. What, what do we put in it? And people just send us like all kinds of just like, just ideas and narrowing it down to 100 was not easy. Yeah. <laughs> because we had a lot of really, really fun ideas. And some of the things that we put in here is, some of it is like nostalgia. So like the, the gumball machine is something we grew up with. We right. had a gumball machine in the entryway of our house when we were little. We snuck in a floppy disk for I those of us who are older. I saw that, the floppy disk <laughs> and the Etch-a-Sketch. The save icon, we have an Etch-a-Sketch, so we went a little nostalgic for some of it. I thought that was great. That was that was one of my favorite parts of that when I saw yeah. the, I saw it on the edge of sketch and I was like, oh my God, I love we, it. We also tried to come up with things that like you normally wouldn't think about or see in a mm -hmm. quilt. I mean, who has made a hairbrush, you know? Or a toothbrush. Or a toothbrush. Which is her my five youngest daughter. daughter. <laughs> yeah. So we tried to, you know, be a little bit outside the box and not just do the things you would normally find in a quilt, but some things that you'd normally, that you would have never seen in a quilt before. Yeah. The, the turkey leg was for her husband because anytime he goes to Disneyland, a Renaissance fair or anything he has, to get, he has to get his turkey leg i like that. so just kind of some of those things the, the butterfly and the flowers or that's my world so okay cool <laughs> so this is paper piece is what it says yes yeah, it's yeah. all foundation paper piece okay and so how hard is it okay we made it really easy for you so this one actually some of them are a little more complex but when you get the book you're going to go through it and you're going to see each of them is going to have a level so depending on how many pieces how tiny pieces they are you're going to see a level one you're gonna see a level two or you're gonna see a level three. If you're new to paper piecing, you just start with the level ones. By the time you know that, you've built up confidence. Now do the level twos. By the time you get to the level threes, you'll be a pro and be able to paper piece anything. Okay, that's great to know. This sounds like a very fun project. It, it totally is, it is. It's a <laughs> All lot right. of fun. And it's addicting. It's like you start making these little blocks and then you then just you want, want to make more. more. Yeah. All right, hey, thanks for the info. I really appreciate it. No problem. Y'all have a great day. You too.